Mingala Bakumia, I'm Angus Watson with the top stories for DVB. A fire broke out in Rangoon San Chong Township on Monday morning, leaving several homes and shops destroyed. Although a fierce blaze, no injuries have been reported. The fire burned for roughly an hour, with four homes engulfed and ten more damaged. One rice shop and several grocery stores were also left devastated. Fire trucks from nearby townships were rushed to San Chong to assist with putting out the fire, designated by the fire brigade to be a level 4 threat, level 5 being the most serious. Authorities are still working out the cost of the damage in the incident. The fire comes just two days after over $2 million in damage was done to Rangoon's Mingala Zay market. The Federation of Myanmar Overseas Employment Agencies has requested Malaysia to revise a massive hike in the cost of work visas. Last November, Kuala Lumpur raised the cost of a permit required for Burmese to work in Malaysia by almost 10 times, from its previously low base of $6 to $50. US dollars. The Federation said it would organise a demonstration in front of the Malaysian Embassy in Rangoon if the new visa service fee is not postponed until May. A staggering 3,000 Burmese travel to Malaysia each month for work, with many thousands more believed to be making the journey without documents. There are about 200 agencies helping Burmese get legal jobs in Malaysia. The Chief of Staff of Britain's Defence Force, General Sir Nicholas Houghton, is in Naypyidaw. The United Kingdom's top soldier visited his counterpart Minong Line on Monday, with whom he observed a special guard of honour. Houghton then met with National League for Democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi. He is the second British military leader to visit Burma since the country's own army rulers partially relinquished rule in 2010. Britain has participated in training exercises with the Burmese army since then as part of the UK reproachment with its former colony. You can find more on all of today's top stories at dvb.no. Bye for now.